Hi guys, how's it going? In this video I want to give a little bit of an introduction to the book I plan on publishing coming up here very shortly. I still have to hear back from one or two people about my book, but more or less what I'm about to tell you is going to be what the book is. So the name of my book is Schizoaffective Disorder and Christianity in search of the truth of God's sovereignty in human will. So the book really functions based on three different points and you can think about this in a logical syllogism or you can think about it in terms of different sections of the book. Either way works. So first off, the general syllogism of the book is something like this. Premise 1. God exists and created all information. Premise 2. Humans are information made in God's image. Therefore, conclusion, the information humans create is of God's image. So let me talk about the contents of the book a little bit. Alright, first off we have an introduction which is a first chapter on me and how I think. The second in the introduction is the importance of theories and I have a chapter on that. Now third is part of the meat of the book. It's uh, formulated as premise one or section one of the book, God exists and created all information. That goes as follows. First of all, I have what I call an argument of entities, chapter three. Uh, the second chapter in this premise is God's providence. Then third is an argument from personal experience. And then fourth, the meta narrative of Christianity. That's all under the first section of God exists and created all information. Next in the second premise is titled, Humans are information made in God's image. And for this, the chapters are, Biblical anthropology, parts of man, soteriology, determinism and free will, transcendence. Then for the conclusion part of the syllogism, we have the information humans create is in God's image. So of this, I have three different chapters, the first being God's sovereignty in human action, second being human will, and third being sin and salvation. Then finally I wrap up the book with what I call reflections or reflections on Christianity. So that's what I got guys, that's going to be it for this video, thanks for watching, bye.